30 years old, never left Egypt, yet this is her first time voting. For Hind, it's what the revolution is all about. Belief her voice will be counted and her opinions heard. Dipping her finger in pink ink to show she's cast her vote whilst judges watch on, Hind calls this democracy in action. I never considered voting before, but I knew this time I could make a difference. So I thought I'm an Egyptian. I have to have a voice. It's my right. The vote is simple. Yes, if you want to see the amendments to the 1971 constitution passed, paving the way for parliamentary and presidential elections within months. No, if you want to see a new constitution drawn up, pushing back those elections. In an effort to encourage people to vote, there are over 50,000 polling stations across the country. And unlike other years, you don't need a separate voter registration card. Egyptians can vote using their national ID cards at any one of these polling stations that's easiest for them to get to. But this referendum is about more than amendments to the constitution. As the Muslim Brotherhood are the main group pushing for a yes vote, the poll is turning into a test of their popularity. These women say they voted yes to the amendments in order to end military rule and bring back stability. These amendments are just temporary so we can get back to normal and there can be security in the country. Everything now is transparent. We'll get a new constitution and a new president before long. But for others, the amendments, which include limiting the president to two terms and making emergency law subject to a parliamentary veto, aren't enough. The amendments are good, but I think we need a totally new constitution rather than changing the old one. We don't want a constitutional patchwork. Youth groups and new parties urging a no vote also argue they need more time to organize themselves before elections and that holding them this year will only benefit established parties and groups like the National Democratic Party and the Muslim Brotherhood. But whether it's a yes or no, the debate over the constitution has galvanized the Egyptian public for the first time in decades making people believe they have a right to influence the future of their country. Shirin Tadros, Al Jazeera, Cairo.